and its advantage Tamil Nadu in the long legal battle with neighboring Kerala over the controversial Mulla Periyar Dam. The Supreme Court today quashed Kerala law restricting water levels in the Mulla Periyar Dam, a move that was greeted with cheers on one side of the border and dismay on the other. Two sides of the divide, a boost for farmers in Tamil Nadu and anger in Kerala over ground lost after the top crowd struck down legislation passed by Kerala which blocked Tamil Nadu's move to increase water stored in the Mullai Periya Dam. Suresh Kumar, a farmer in drought-prone Madurai, is overjoyed. Over the last 20 years, the triple paddy crop on its 10-acre field was reduced to a single crop for want of water. This logical conclusion of sorts to the 35-year-long struggle for water settles both safety and livelihood issues. Chief Minister Joy Lalitha has dedicated this to the people. The British engineer Penny Quick, who built the dam, would not have imagined that his well-intended act would turn so bitter. But people in Kerala have different concerns that the century-old dam could wipe out three million people as it could be structurally unsafe. The Kerala government has offered to fund and build a new one on the Periyar River something Tamil Nadu is dead against. What once used to be dry and arid land today is lush green and densely populated. But also rampant among the villagers living by the sides of the Mullapiriyar Dam is the fear of any untoward incident as they live their daily lives by the side of the 120-year-old Mullapiriyar Dam as this place becomes the center of protests again in the coming few days after the Supreme Court's judgment. The, the responsibility clearly is with the government to calm down the fears and also provide an alternative if required. With Siddharth Pandey in Delhi, Sneha Koshi in Idukki, in Chennai with camera person Edwin, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.